Welcome to SAP 2000, a comprehensive yet easy-to-use state-of-the-art finite element analysis and design package. In this tutorial, we will create a simple five-panel truss bridge constructed of steel 4x4 four four double angles with a concrete deck. Before we get started with modeling, let's take a quick look at the SAP 2000 interface. All the options are available through the top menu bar. Toolbars offer buttons that provide access to commonly used commands, including snaps, zooms, and views. An icon next to a menu command indicates that this item is also available as a one-click button. Typically, one defines materials and section properties, draws the physical objects, selects these objects, and then assigns properties and loads to the objects. We start the modeling process by clicking on the File New Model command. SAP 2000 offers a wide range of parametric based templates to help create your models, including a slope truss template that is similar to our model. However, we will start by using only a grid definition. A thoughtfully planned grid system can result in enormous time savings, so spend some time at the start to make sure your grid captures the main geometrical features of your structure. Note that we will use the units of kip inches as our default, but that the units may be changed at any time. Click on the grid button and input the number of grid lines followed by the spacing values. Note that by explicitly specifying the units, we can enter these values in feet rather than inches, and the program automatically handles the conversion. Directly under the display title bars is an indicator showing the model status. This indicator will display either object model or analysis model. Objects represent physical members and are typically what the user draws in SAP 2000. To make viewing our model easier, we will reduce the size of the grid bubbles. This is done through the coordinate systems grids command and we will use a bubble size of 36.